So let's kick off straight away, Mina, by looking at Serie A winner, because we have two at the top, but we have last year's winners sitting there at plus 400. Inter Milan at plus 175, with Lukaku coming back. Juve at plus 185. If ever there was a season for Juve, I think it's this one. Yes, a lot of people are very high on Juventus, um, frankly, because of the, the transfer market they had and they brought in experience. We know that it's a young squad. That was the whole methodology at the time was to try to make the squad young. Um, maybe they've just gone a bit too young and there was a need for a lot of experience, especially with the likes of, you know, Ronaldo left and it was Giorgio Chiellini and uh, more keep going away. So they have been replaced with the likes of obviously Paul Pogba, a huge superstar. We know that he sells shirts and we know that he can elevate the level of the midfield, which is the main point at Juventus. Without a good midfield, which they haven't had for a few years now, they haven't been able to challenge for the Scudetto. But I also think, you know, having the likes of Angel Di Maria, who is just such a beautiful technician up front, somebody who can actually deliver to Vlaovic, we can get the best out of Vlaovic as the striker as well. But I still think this team needs a lot of work, especially in the fullback positions, considering Pogba's injury, there still needs to be more work in the midfield. So really, Juventus are favourites, but uh, Inter look good too, so I don't know. Yeah, the thing is with Juventus, are we going to see them be more attack-minded or are they going to be a bit more deliberate? Because the one thing I can guarantee about Juve this year is they're going to score goals, Mina. Yeah, well, that's obviously like the aim. Everyone is talking about the fact that Matthias De Ligt, for example, as a defender, decided to opt out of Juventus because of the fact that they don't play attack-minded football. And he said so. But what is happening and what we've seen so far in preseason is that they they are determined to play more of an attacking brand of football because they do also care about their branding and they don't want to be seen as a very boring club. And uh, it's a case of this time around, they want to win rather than just manage to just uh, secure as many victories to rebuild a sort of mentality that they were doing last season. So there is more play from the back. There is more defenders trying to be a little bit more gutsy going forward, um, a little bit more of let's try to get in, you know, the excellent movements rather than than laboring everything. Um, and so we hope to see a more of an attacking football, but I know Massimiliano Allegri, and he's never going to be somebody who's very gung-ho going forward. So I still think we're going to see a lot of balance, a lot of defensive work. And I see that from Roma too, despite the fact that they bought a lot of attackers. Um, really, if you're looking for beautiful football, I would look at Inter and Milan. OK, and we talk about Inter, Matty. Now it's your turn because Inter probably have been the best side consistently over the last three years. Missed Lukaku last year, fell away a little bit. I thought they were the best side, even though they didn't go on and win it because they played that 4-5-1. But they were found wanting. And I tell you what, they took their foot off the pedal at the wrong time of the season. Yeah, um, and I think it's actually really interesting what you said at the beginning of the show, Mina, about how Inter Cup, well, actually, I guess not because they have most Italian players. Never mind. I'm going off track here. Um, you got me confused when we were talking about Italy in the World Cup. Obviously, they are not in, but... Yeah, they do um, have Italians. They do, yeah. Yeah, so I guess that would be a factor if Italy was in the World Cup, so never mind. Anyways, what I'm looking at on this board is is anything for value, and I do feel like Inter and Juve are pretty much going to be even Um, at least at the start of the season. And we'll see how the season progresses, you know, if everybody can stay healthy and whatnot. Um, Milan to win at plus 400 is really interesting to me because going through all the records in Serie A, it's not very often that a team does not come back and win the title uh, back-to-back. However, three of the last times that did happen, it was Milan that had won the previous year. So that's interesting to me. I think Roma is very interesting because they actually still have some money they can go out and spend. And I do like what they did in the transfer market uh, in this offseason. As far as Napoli, Atlanta, Lazio, and Fiorentina kind of rounding out the bottom of the board, I don't really see much value on them. I don't think either of those teams will really be highly competitive with the top four sides that are on this board. No, I agree. Um, I mean, I don't even know why Lazio, Fiorentina are even on there because Fiorentina, they, they might struggle to even be top half. If they're, what? I don't know where their goals are going to come from. And mm-hmm. if they don't get themselves in front, they don't really come from behind. Mina, you're not having that. No, I think they'll be top six. They have Luka Jovic. They've got, you know, they've got 
as they've still got like Vincenzo Italiano as their coach. I still think they've got a very good team. Um, and really, look, they gained 22 points from the year before. If they continue just a small growth on that, they were already fantastic last season. And now I think they have a scorer who's dying to do something after the fact that he was deemed a failure at Real Madrid, but spectacular in the Bundesliga. I think they might have found somebody who can replace all the goals that Vlaovic took away. I hope not. <laughs> OK, let, 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 let's have a little look at our Serie A winner, though, because uh, we've got official picks here. So let's have a little look and see what flicks around. I hope you're enjoying the uh, new graphics as well, by the way. Um, Juventus at plus 185 for myself and for the Queen. Uh, AC Milan at plus 400. That's like running for a bus and, and you're a year late, May. Because they were plus 1,100. That's unlike you. That's unlike you to see plus 1,100 go by the wayside and then come back with them at plus 400. Not sure Milan have got it, to be honest. 